Hi, I am here in sunny Florida. I'm on the outside because it's less noisy out here than it is in there with my children. Um, so I hope that you can hear me. But I want to talk about the IUDs. The IUDs are 99% effective at preventing pregnancy if that's not what you are interested in currently. There are five different types of IUD. Four of them are hormonal and one of them is a copper IUD which is a non-hormonal IUD. Here are the different types of IUDs. There are four hormonal, the Skyla, the Kylina, Mirena, and Laletta. They're all used for different years because of the different level of hormone that they have. It, they have. Um, also, there are different sizes. The Kylina and the Skyla are the smallest. The Mirena and the Laletta are medium size. The fifth one is a Paragard, which is a non-hormonal that contains copper. All of the hormonal IUDs work both as birth control and to decrease the amount of period flow or bleeding, vaginal bleeding, because they thin out the lining of the uterus. By having a very thin lining of the uterus, there's nothing to shed. And this is why some women just spot uh, at the time of their period. Some women don't have a period at all, or some women have very light periods when they have it. And here you see a hysteroscopy camera that's showing you what the IUD looks like on the inside of the uterus. The IUD works by thickening the mucus of the cervix so it doesn't allow for sperm to come through. It also causes inflammation of the lining of the uterus, essentially killing the sperm in the egg if it enters the uterus. And additionally, it thins the lining of the uterus so it does not allow for implantation to occur. Lastly, the IUD has many benefits and potential side effects. Part of the benefit is that it's 99% effective. It can be anywhere from three to 10 years of birth control without having to remember to take a pill every day. It decreases the period flow, it decreases the pain with periods. It also decreases the risk of cervical cancer by about 30% and decreases the risk of pelvic inflammatory disease. On the other hand, the potential side effect, the most common side effect is irregular spotting and bleeding that may last two to six weeks. For some, for some women, it may be three to nine months depending on how thick that uterine lining was to begin with and how long it takes for the IUD to thin that uterine lining. The other thing is a mild cramping that does go away over time. Uh, the uterus may see it as a uh, foreign uh, uh, body, in which it is, and actually expose it out. That typically happens for women who've had multiple babies usually um, in uterine perforation, but that usually, if it's going to happen, it usually happens upon insertion. Thank you for listening and please share with anyone who may benefit from this information.